Good day. So, balik tayo dun sa area problem natin. Gusto nating makahanap ng method of finding the area under the curve na eksakto, hindi na approximation. So, for this example, I'm using a different function. So, this is a general function. Hindi na ako magbibigay ng equation sa kanya. Let's just call it f of x. And we want to find no, the exact area of the region bounded by f of x, the lines x equals a, x equals b, and the x-axis. So, medyo mas generalized na yung approach natin this time. And what we have seen from the previous example, from the previous video, is that we could use rectangles to approximate yung area na yan. And yung width ng bawat approximating rectangle is delta x. Now, in that sub-interval, kung nasan tayo may rectangle, meron tayo dyang particular x value na siyang ginagamit nating basis para makuha yung height ng rectangle na yan. So, here I'm calling it x sub i star or x star sub i. Yun yung particular x dun sa i, yung pang i na sub-interval. So, siya yung x na ginagamit dun sa f of x sub i star. Yun yung height naman nung rectangle na yun. So, i stands for kung pang ilang sub-interval siya. Yung star, ibig sabihin siya yung ginagamit to determine the height. It could be the leftmost endpoint, it could be the rightmost endpoint, it could be the midpoint, it could be anywhere in that sub-interval, in the ith sub-interval. So the area of the ith approximating rectangle will be given by a sub i, which is equal to the height of that rectangle, which is f of x sub i star, times delta x, which is yung width ng rectangle. Now, we have n sub-intervals. So, the entire region, the area of the entire region, will be approximated by the sum of the areas of the n rectangles na meron tayo. n sub-intervals, n rectangles. Yung area na yan, tatawagin kong capital R sub n, this will be equal to the sum of all the uh, areas of the approximating rectangles given by f of x sub i star, so yung height nung pang i na rectangle, times delta x, yung width. Yung sum niya from i equals 1, the first subinterval, until the nth subinterval. We'll give it a name. This is called the Riemann sum. Kaya letter R yung ginagamit natin sa kanya. Now, remember dun sa last video, yung parting question is, how do we make the approximation exact? We could make the approximation better by using more rectangles, by increasing n, which in turn reduces yung delta x, no? But we could make the measurement exact if we allow n to approach infinity. Kailangan na natin gamitin ng konting calculus. We'll use the concept of limit. And if we let n approach infinity, syempre, consequently, we'll let delta x approach 0. Kung magkakaroon tayo ng infinite approximating rectangles, yung base ng bawat isang approximating rectangle mag approach ngayon ng value ng 0. So, the exact area is equal to the limit of the Riemann sum as n approaches infinity. Which is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of the sum of the areas of all the approximating rectangles from i equals 1 to n. At bibigyan natin siya ng bagong pangalan, this limit of the Riemann sum, tatawagin natin siyang the definite integral. At yung symbol na gagamitin natin sa kanya ay very similar dun sa symbol natin sa anti-derivative, except that we are including yung boundaries no area na minimeasure natin. So, from A hanggang B. From A hanggang B. Ang basa natin dito ay the definite integral of f of x from A to B. So, let's explore this further sa next videos. We'll also include some examples na sasagutan natin doon. And for now, salamat sa pakikinig. Music